We ended up talking almost an hour. She hadn't slept right in three years. Kept having these nightmares. I'd come back and shoot her. When I told her she didn't have to be afraid anymore, that I'd never hurt her again, she started to cry. She started crying right there in the bank. And then she thanked me. Can you believe that? She said she felt like she could breathe again. She even asked me if I wanted to open up an account. Really? <laughs> Swear to God. So what'd you do? So I opened up an account. I have like $112. And now I have a checkbook. I'm proud of you. I know. Finally, if you're like a real American. Can't wait to start bouncing checks. You know what I mean. Yeah. Sam wanted me to do it. You're right. You did. You know, I used to sit in my room late at night, back when I was like 17, 18. Just play this song over and over again in the dark. So did I. Really? What? You find that so shocking? No, I just figured you were listening to like that Go-Go's or something. Fuck you. <laughs> I love the Go-Go's. Pass me that joint. Really? Yes, really. Come on, pass it to me. You think I'm such a square. No. Yeah, you do. Well, I'm starting to reassess, Snoop Dogg. God, you want to hand that back? What? Because I was a cheerleader. And you dated the quarterback. <laughs> That's true. I am a cliche. You were a little stuck up. You've got to admit that. No, I wasn't stuck up. You know, I don't understand why guys say that. Why do guys say that? That the girls are stuck up because they don't talk to men. I was actually a nice girl and I just didn't like you because you were a drunk and you used to fight all the time. Like Sam didn't get into fights? No, actually he didn't after I told him to stop. Well, maybe you should have told me to stop too. Today's the first day I felt it. It's not coming back. He's never coming back. Pass me that joint again. <laughs> 